Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. At this time, we're going to have a board's presentation. We ask the recipients to please come up. We uh, hold your award. Take the picture. Where's my camera? There is right there. And you get two minutes to say a few words. My clock will be running. Okay, we have the, uh, the hook. We pull you off. It takes you go over. So, uh, just be happy. And, and don't come up and start crying. Don't come up and start crying. I love you. Just come up and say a few nice words. Thank you for appreciation. But more than anything, we appreciate you. So, here we go. It gives me great pleasure to lead off with our first inductee who I stay in the name after a long time coach. Teacher, mentor, father, Willard Stardew Jr. Thank you. Willard Stardew Jr. was born in Ottawa, he got a unanimous choice for all city in football. Would have played guard on the basketball team, then won 21 straight games before losing in the state semifinal game. Would have was city, the city's track and field champion in the high hurdles and other events. Would have been at the University of Cincinnati in 1940 when he set a record in the 440 intermediate hurdles. He started his career coaching at Robert A. Tab Astro in 1955 and went on to Warner Hills in 1965 as head football and wrestling coach until his retirement in June of 1979. The football track stadium at Tab Information Technology High School, formerly Robert A. Tab High School, is named in his honor. Mr. Stoddard was voted all league and unanimous choice for all city of football. He played basketball, city track and field champion, high hurdles. In 1940, he attended the University of Cincinnati. And again, 1991, he was a Wilbur High School Medal of Honor recipient. Willard Stoddard, Jr. Central 1947, he was enrolled in Ohio State. 
State University on an academic scholarship. He ran in 220. He was a distant melee relay team member. And now at the end, he said he was the principal of Cape High School when he retired in 1983. Dr. Herman Turner. There's no one here to represent. I mean, okay, you do it. I'm sorry, Mr. Turner. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Turner. He won't get me. He sure won't get me. And can we all stand up for each other right here and give them a nice round of applause? And just, just a little comment, my mother was a senator, okay? And, and one of the names I heard all the time was Herman Turner. She said, son, when you meet him, he's a legend. So at this time, I want to share with you all, it's a beautiful thing to be a legend. It's the Dr. Herman Turner.
we forget who certain individuals were, especially athletes. And Mitchell Chalk attended TAG from 1969, I think, to 1972. However, Mr. Mitchell uh, Chalk was on the football team and suffered a vertebrae fracture. But let me read this bio. Mitchell Chalk, number 43, was a defensive back on the Robert A. Taft High School football team on November 7, 1970 at Trector Stadium during Mitchell's junior year at Tab High School. He damaged a vertebrae while tackling a player from on the hills. Mitchell's helmet hit the knee of another player causing an injury to his spine. He was taken to St. Mary's Hospital that used to be on Lane Street for those that know their history, right across from the library. Amen. And then later he was transferred, probably a week or two later, to Good Samaritan Hospital where he was in intensive care. Described by his coach, Amber Burney, as a good hard known football player, Mitchell made an average of 10 to 15 tackles a game. And Mitchell was, later on, he succumbed to his injury. Last year, during the halftime dedication, we dedicated and retired Mitchell Charles number and we named the home football uh, locker room after Mitchell Chalk. So to accept <laughs> on Mitchell's behalf is his sister who flew all the way in from Maryland or Washington, D.C. Can you please come and any other family members? Here she is. And every time I call her, every time I call her, she's wishing. This is an honor. Yes. Wow. I must say I never planned to come up and speak. But I did come from Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I want to thank everyone for being involved in this induction ceremony. And I hope you have any more. I'm sure you will. Uh, the next time, maybe I can get my husband to come over. But he was, uh, he was committed already. He couldn't get out on two occasions. And um, I'm here by myself and with my sons. If you'll stand, please. And their wives and daughters and daughters. Mitchell's at there you are. Okay, thank you. <laughs> there, thank you. <laughs> um, Mitchell's he was always one who went for the best. He wanted to come to Taft, of course. We live down on Fifth Street, yes. and um, Daddy didn't want him to play in a position that he was playing. But he was determined. That's what he wanted. And when I talked to Daddy about it, I said, well, he, Daddy was afraid he'd get injured. Okay. Um, as of any game, so to speak. But I told Daddy, you know, I'd rather him being happy and passing away than unhappy and passing away. And that's what happened with him. He was go for um, oh all these years when I miss him. I really do. Uh, I'm at the point now where I don't have to cry. Uh, I know he's in a better place up there with mom and everybody else. But I'd like to thank you all for having this. Thank you much. Okay, our next inductee is Mr. Cleophus. Edwards Jr. The Elvis Edwards Jr. was born in Selma, Alabama, 1943. At the age of 14, the family moved to Cincinnati. Cleopas learned to fish, play baseball, basketball, and football. Cleopas attended Cutter Jr. High School and Robert Tab High School. He was 6'2, 210 pounds. Started playing football, became 
a star running back and was offered scholarship from several colleges. Made all city as a runner. After the North South All Star Game and graduated from Bradley Tab High School, Cleopas Jr. attended Tennessee State College. Some of his accomplishments U.S. Army Honorable Discharge, All Asian Team, and have filled eight seasons with the St. Louis Rams. Also, a big member of the North South All Star Game. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to take this next gentleman into the Hall of Fame, Mr. Cleophis Edward Jr. I, I need to say something as Sid will be one of those people. An event happened at Tech High School that will never, ever, ever be repeated. Sid was a running back in the backfield, as he said, 6'5, 235 pounds. Walter Johnson, who was inducted into the PHSL Hall of Fame last night, was the fullback. Carl Ward, who was here with us tonight, running back. Al Nelson, who will be honored later, is another running back. The entire backfield went to the pros. Thank you. 